I had the controller. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, maybe it's because of borderless gaming. Oh, no, it's working now. Hey, chat. Oh, I can choose a class. Okay. We have the mercenary, thief, assassin, whatever brings the silver to the table. Mercenary is known for its dirty tactics in battle and crafty ways of gaining the advantage. Knight with pure and righteous waves of the warrior. Having been trained for combat since a child, Knight excels in close combat and with different weaponry. Dark Priest. Bearing no burden on such things as morality and ethics gives Dark, dark Priest an edge in blood magic. However, devoting oneself to magic has left his physical body weak. Outlander. I don't know what the fuck is going on in the bottom right of the screen. Is that steam? Somehow? Uh, let's see. The Outlander. Hardened in the freezing winds of the north, Outlander is an epitome of survival. He knows all the tricks to stay alive, even in the most impossible of situations. Okay, so we can play the weakling that dies in, like, one hit. The knight. The mercenary. He has, he has dirty tactics. Mm. I mean, honestly, the Outlander seems pretty good, but maybe it's a bait. Hmm. What a tough choice. Do I have the anti-TOS mod? No. It's... People have streamed this game uncensored. It's... As far as I'm aware, it's fine. I have mature uh, stream settings on anyways. Alright. Let's go... Fuck, man, I don't know. I can't choose. Dark Priest seems cool, but the character look... I don't like how the character looks. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ellen. Yeah, you probably like the Dark Priest. Because he's got long hair. I won't die in five minutes. Alright, let's go Dark Priest. Pre-stortion. Yes. Yeah, what's up with the spacing there? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> wow, 
Why is there... I guess it's because I'm using a capital. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess this is just weird. It's fine. Twelve hours in, create a character. All right, just do it. Use the one. Ah, uh, yes. That looks good. You can use the keyboard. All right, we'll just go with dist. That's fine. I don't really care. Our name is All right. Sorry, chat. I'm stalling. Choose the game mode. <laughs> yeah, no. We're we're not we're just playing we're playing normal. This is not a game where you wanna play hard no. <laughs> normal is second? I don't think it is. All right, hold on. Let me let me ask Larksa what difficulty she played on. She uh, well, actually, what do you, what did, what did Lark's the plan? Like, this is not a game that you want to, like, it's really unfair as it is. It's not easy. Okay, chat. I'm gonna fucking die anyways. Jesus, chat. You were... Alright. You were born with the soul of the enlightened. You are always seeking restlessly for new knowledge and secrets hidden from the common folk. This trait started to show itself at a very young age as you were chosen to become a dark priest upon the birth of you and your twin sister. Typical to such occult rites, you were pitted against your sibling with ritual daggers and challenged to fight each other to the very last breath. Unfortunate for you, you were born with a fragile body and your sister easily overpowered you and had her dagger on your neck waiting for the final blow. She, however, showed mercy and withdrew her dagger. She stepped away from you as your high priest masters glared gleefully at the event unfolding before their very eyes. See, so this is this is why the game Hey, she sh she showed mercy though, chat. This is my first option. The dark priests got no place for the weak, so you were thrown down to an underground well. There you were meant to quietly wither away 
Instead, you fed on insects and other small critters that shared your fate down in the darkness. With time, you learned to understand the language they spoke. You learned mastery over insects. With the aid of your new slaves, you eventually grew strong enough to climb up the well. You creeped upstairs to the temple and noticed it was the nighttime. Yeah, no, we need to let we need to do this on fire. Vengeful in how you had been treated, you set the temple on fire, jammed the exit door so no one could escape, and then ran away. Only muffled screams could be heard coming from the temple. You learned pyromancy trick. After leaving the temple grounds, you vowed to become a dark priest on your own merits and prove your fate wrong. When beginning your self studies, you first had to choose the god you dedicate your time to. The God of the Depths. You traveled across the western continent learning about different gods, deities, blood magic, and all known sciences. Your studies didn't come without their merits. You were acknowledged by the top scholars of the modern times. You were finally granted a pass to the great libraries of the Kingdom of Rondon. <laughs> you now have the collection of all known history and science at your grasp. You learned of a certain man who was prophet pro prophetized to begin a new era for mankind, a man meant for greatness. But why would you need to share the spotlight of the gods with any mortal man? Prophecies are only for those who are weak enough to bend to their sorry fates. You need to find this man and learn more. To, to your current knowledge, he would be found imprisoned at the notorious dungeons of fear and hunger. You decided to stock up before your travels. Unst no. Rush? Why? Why? You guys just want me to be more, f more fucked now. Eating the horse produces no effects. The horse has been dead for one week. Oh god. Hounds are hot on your tail, holy. Burn his head. Miss? I'm gonna die. Pyromancy's horrible. Sit. Heads or tails? Heads. Oh no. See, you know... This was defeated. <laughs> <laughs>
See, I really... I feel like rushing was a terrible idea. I already want to remake my character. You guys just baited me. Surely rushing isn't worth it. I could have items right now. A red vial. The Lamy. Oh, the barking is getting closer. Ale. Oh god. I need to run. No! 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 I can't escape. You can run? What, is there a sprint? Oh, I guess you mean like what I just tried to do? Because yeah, it didn't work. Are you screwed, man? This nightmare has taken its toll on me. I am devolving into something far lesser than the man I once was. All the high morals and ethics have no value here, the things I've done to survive. There's no place for a little miscreant like me in the warmth of the sun anymore. I am part of these dungeons now. Part of this never-ending nightmare, just a one more cog in this machine of fear and hunger. In a way, I find it comforting. I have a definite place in this wicked world. But I'm writing this here as a warning for anyone who happens to step down to this darkness. Do leave if it's still possible. You find a small booklet under the guest book. You take the book of fears with you. Can I like open my inventory or anything? Oh, I can use it to melt stuff. Helps you keep keep you sane. Oh, that's for hunger. Oh, I can craft items. Talk to myself. Oh yeah, I'm bleeding. The Book of Fears and Phobias. Necrophobia, fear of death, dead, and corpses. Phasmophobia, fear of ghosts and ghastly figures. Rhabdophobia, fear of magic and otherworldly powers. Eratophobia, fear of sex and genitals. Zoophobia, fear of animals and beasts. Teratophobia, fear of monsters and mal malformations. Panophobia, fear of everything. You can hear a faint sound from the other side of the door. I didn't hear shit. It's a map showing distribution of army units on the table. You find captain's orders among the other documents and papers. Four tinder boxes. Hmm. Oh, I light a fire. Oh, God, not 
the fucking dogs, man. Why, where do, why is there some... What, does he summon the other hounds or something? This is some bullshit. I'm dead. Pyromancy! Dude, my character sucks ass! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me loot these barrels. I don't know if I looted them last time. Wait, can I go in here? Fried mushroom. We're just exploring, chat. It's fine. Ancient ritual circle is carved and drawn here. It seems to be a symbol of an older, more obscure god. Wait, what? Okay. I don't know what that was, but I'm out of here. Blue herb. What? Dude, I suck, man! How do you miss a door? I thought I'm supposed to be some, like, master magician, dude. What is this shit? I don't know if I should loot all these. I don't know if it's like... Oh god, I'm out, I'm out. Oh my god, no, no, no! Jesus. Alright, the pyromancy on his stinger. Oh god. I don't think he liked that. Game seems kind of tough, man. I 
I think I should pick a different character. Yeah, yeah, good th yeah, you guys are like, hey, play on the hardest difficulty, dude. Yeah, brilliant. Alright, I'm going up this way. Can I loop both sides of the... What? Sure. Great. Hey, the scroll of lock picking. Blood and flower magic. Death is the answer. In this book, I reminisce my time at the Eastern Sanctuaries with my late master, Nasra the Great. I was given honor of being an apprentice to the Great Wizard. My time with him was brief, and I only managed to scratch the surface of the immense knowledge he possessed. In this book, I will list out the secrets and spells he spoke of on how to acquire the knowledge behind these blood magics and flower magics. You have to seek that information elsewhere. These would be his words. I know of the first secret of Grogorath. If I see, hanging from a tree, a dead man's corpse, I wish upon his soul and bind it back to their umbilical cord. And then that corpse will walk and speak again with me. I know of the first secret of Sylvian. If I sprinkle my seed in sun... Inside, inside the womb of a freshly deceased, the life that is lingering in that corpse will sprout a son in my name, a son that will live, will, a son that will a life of violence. <laughs> this book's a little, uh, a little uncomfortable. I know of the second secret of Grogora. The minuscule world I have always felt curiosity for becomes under understandable to me. I'm finally able to converse with the insects around me and have them reveal their deepest secrets. I know of the second secret of Sylvian. I no longer have to fear for separation from my loved ones, for we can forever join in a marriage of flesh, an act of love that creates a beautiful unison for two souls. I know of the third secret. For all the wrong that they have done to me, I can merely point my finger and leash out the violence at them in their desperate cry of remorse. Dude, how, how much fucking secrets are there in this book? As human beings are simple creatures guided by their feelings and lust, I can easily control their affections in a most primal of ways. Please put this book away. Oh yeah, the scroll of lock picking. I guess I actually learned how to do that. Oh. Oh my god, we're in. We found a bunch of shit. Blue liquid. Can I even close doors? Jesus. That'd be nice if you could, but I don't think you can. It's so fucking dark, man. It's so fucking dark.
Eat blue herb. Bro, it's probably gonna kill me or something. Someone has written, save us here with blood. Oh. Awful smell comes from all the rotten meat on the table. Plates are covered with maggots. Does one make you wonder if someone actually eats this stuff? After all, why have them here otherwise? Yeah, no, I'm gonna leave it. I don't. Ah, yes. Let's go and. Oh! The mist here carries the same odor as the dungeon air. Jump down the well. I'm gonna die, man. Oh, wait, there's items on them. Can't save. I think there are save points, but... Oh wait, there is an insect over there. Master, my rotten home, there was something shiny. Also, okay, chat, please do not, do not back, do not backseat, please. I don't want you guys telling me everything. Hey, Party Charlie, thank you for the 14 months. I mean, one of the maggots runs up your arm. Okay, well, it's fine. I. That's probably gonna kill me or something. Maybe he's a friend. We got a lot of maggots, I guess.
I mean, they don't really seem like they're coming for me. Maybe they are. Not a note here? The Fellowship chap Chapter 1. Following pages tell of the events that took place in the year 809 after the birth of our Christ, the Ascended One. The tale of the Fellowship is familiar to many, but few know the factual story of which all the poems and songs are made of. Oh boy, here we go. Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. How long is this story? <laughs> have, I, have I gotten myself into something? This is a bad. This is a bad idea. All right. Well, there's Chambara, the tormented one, and then there was the fifth one. He who never aspired for the same greatness as the rest of the party, whose story bears no listeners, the forgotten one. The fellowship was formed to seek the older gods who left humanity without guidance, without aid in the times of great peril. The great kingdoms were slowly rotting away, and the grand values mankind once aimed for were displaced by def defiled principles and practices. Back then, there existed an ancient tomb to ancient city of Mahavre that worked as a hub for multiple different planes of existence, a place where a man could meet his maker. Those who would set their foot inside would end up in a forever-going turmoil of godly dimensions and planes of afterlife. It is here that the Fellowship would demand the rights of self-governing for mankind. Freedom to choose our own destiny and build the future we deserve. Oh, okay, well that was pretty short, actually. Fuck is that? What do you eat? Humans, of course, bring us sacrifices. Oh. There's a bloody toilet hole. You could fit through it? You see nothing but darkness. The smell is awful. The smell is a mixture of death, blood, feces, and semen. Oh, God. That's disgusting. The fuck is this? They will create an idol out of our fears. Okay, yeah. That was a bad idea. Which god do you serve? We serve all the gods. Despite the common folk blaming the dark times on the older gods, we also value their teachings. Grogoroth, Sylvian, or Almer, the Ascended One, the original destroyers and creators. Which 
one did I choose? I chose the god of the depths. Is that a new god? Wait, 800 years ago, mankind decided to take the reins in their own hands. We had suffered long enough because of the neglect of the older gods. New gods will bring us closer to the paradise. Hey, what the? Dude, I literally can't fucking even kill anything. Blood is dripping down to the pool at where the statue stands. Sacrifice him. Oh god. Oh, he can't get in here. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a trap. Oh, shit. I don't even have any cloth, man. Let's just jump in the fucking shitter, dude. Why not? I'll be back in a sec. I might make a different character. I want to try a different class, dude. I don't I don't know if I like this class. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. Hold on. I just I want to go grab a drink. Okay. Use my ability. Oh, yeah. Wait, what even is this? Oh, this one.
Nice. Oh, I have a short sword. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's eat some stuff. Okay, so the blue herb actually seems to heal me. The vial... Also seems to heal me. Okay, that restores my mind. Some po some uh, food poisoning. I don't have any tinder boxes this time. All right, well. Goodbye, cruel world. Mm. Do I want to use the dark priest? <laughs> Dude, you're like so... you're so weak. Do I want to play the intro? Does it, is the intro not what lets you choose your skills? You were born with the soul of the tormented. You are destined to struggle in every step you take in life. Ultimately, this makes you stronger physically and tempers your iron will that rivals the will of the gods themselves. You had a balanced childhood in the city of Old Guard with both of your parents always present. Your father taught you in the art of war. The very first step was to choose your weapon. Axe and shield. You get an axe and a wooden buckler. Winters grew colder and summers shorter, which resulted a great hunger in the north. The fine men of the old guard set sails to the unknown west in a desperate attempt to find food and riches to feed the people. You had grown into your manhood and boarded the ship. After months of sailing, the sea saw no end and the crew was struggling. Some laid weak under the deck while some embraced the cold dark sea. As the weak met their fate, the rest indulged in their greatest sin. Devour your fallen comrades. I mean, it's probably a good idea. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it's like dread hunger. Maybe it's gonna turn, maybe like I, I'll have no choice but to eat people. That's fine, you know, you do what you gotta do. You learn devour. As if the trip wasn't gloomy enough, when you finally found land, it was something no one in the civilized world could have ever imagined. From the far reaches of the world, you found the dark continent of Vinland. The continent had never been touched by a civilized man. The land was tainted by, an anci by ancient deities and gods you had never even heard of. The things you witnessed there left a mark in you that could never be washed away. Some of your comrades lost their minds while others tried to pillage anything worthwhile before leaving the macabre place. Take souvenirs, don't touch anything. I'll take some souvenirs. YOLO. Soulstone. Unfortunately, the relics you brought from the trip tainted you 
and you've formed a panophobia, a fear of everything. An ancient artifact was brought from the dark continent. You knew it was a mistake, but the choice wasn't in your hands. You knew something bad would follow sooner or later. The bad omens would soon reveal themselves. Sometimes after you returned, during one of your many hunting trips, you came back to your village only to witness your, first, your worst fears come to life. A mercenary army had raided your village. You witnessed your home village burning, your family slain, and the artifacts stolen. Those who survived the raid described the army and its captain. He was the famous captain from the fabled mercenary army, Knights of the Midnight Sun. You immediately packed and left after him. The mad would witness the iron will tempered both in the freezing north and in the continent of Finland. We'll rush after him. You learn that the man has since been taken into the dungeons of Kingdom of Rondon into the notorious dungeons of fear and hunger. Okay. Here we are. Well, apparently Rush makes your character move faster. Damn, it actually says panophobia. Fuck. It's probably... Uh, yeah, I have a fear of everything. That's great. That's such a good thing to have in this game. You know, let's see if we can fight this guy. He missed. I missed. I lost my left arm. Okay, so I should go- Alright, he's just insane- he Dude, I chopped off his stinger and his head. And he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care, man! Where am I? You find yourself inside rotten embrace of flesh. Oh. Maybe this is- Maybe this is a class perk. I managed to survive everything. Oh god. I have no legs. I also only have one arm. What the? Alright, we just need to eat him, chat. Well, maybe I... Maybe I can't do that. Could use a soul stone here. I don't even know what that does. Oh, 
Oh no. Hey. There's no need for killing. go now. Uh, Lisa remake? I didn't even know there was... Oh my god! Keep running. Something I missed back here? There was like a room, but I don't know how to get in it. blind door oh fuck I see it now <laughs> I really don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna survive this playthrough fellas my legs are gone. I don't think I can get them back. Well, maybe I can, but... <laughs> it's a mistake to take this position in these dungeons. It's next to impossible to keep any kind of order among troops here. There are powers at play here that we as mere mortals cannot fight against. I've come to accept the madness. A naked prisoner crucified on a sacrificial statue with his guts hanging out? Just another day in the dungeons. More and more troops committing suicide every day. More food for those left. Orders to let some, some cultists do their wicked rituals here? Anything goes. All the gore and macabre scenery has become trivial, trivial to me. The high priest demanded that we give them our prized prisoner, the captain of the mercenary army, Lagarde of the Midnight Sun. I hesitated at first. After all, his worth and propaganda alone cannot be underestimated. But those priests somehow convinced higher-ups of their ways. The guard was transferred to the lower levels below the mines. I have no idea what is the purpose behind this. Nothing good can come out of it, but orders are orders. <clears throat> below the mines. I feel bad for the poor man. It's obvious the kingdom of Rondon backstabbed him, just because he was gaining influence at such a rapid rate. And now his story ends here, defiled in some unholy practices. Thank you. 
I don't really know what I can do here, fellas. How do I... How do I light a... F do I... Do I need to, like, find a fire on the ground or something? I think I'm just fucked. I probably should just restart. Fine. Oh, blueberries. Red vial, I can heal with that, I think. Oh wait, no I can. Hey, there are some items in here. Iron arrow. Porch. Pine cone. A green herb. Where oh, yeah, I healed my inf Oh god. He has armor for his stinger. Oh Jesus. He's an elite? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that went well, yeah. That was brilliant. I don't know if I should even bother looting any of the barrels. Feels like you just get completely random shit. Uh, it's great. Keep dying. Is a white vial. Works as an antidote to poisoning. All right, I'm gonna chop off. I'm gonna try to chop off his weapon hand, and then the stinger. Oh no. Dude, can you even kill enemies, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? This is ridiculous.
All right, let's search the bookshelves again. Scroll of fencing. Oh. Passages of Mahabra. Feels like you fell asleep almost as you open your eyes, a new world is upon you. Oh. You recognize the forms as the new gods, the beings trying to replace the old world order. Francois, the dominating one, looks at you with an intense look in his squinty eyes. He seems humored by your presence in this ancient landscape, a mortal to take a step into the realm of gods. You can almost feel a sense of nostalgia from his twisted smile. The rest of the new gods seem less interested in you. The tormented one notices you. He radiates deep past traumas and torment, and you feel disgusted by just his mere presence. What he wants from you remains a mystery. You feel cold sweat run down your back under his intense stare. Let us meet again. The forms fade into the rays of sunlight. Am I learning something from this? I'm in a dream, right? So like, surely, oh well, I shouldn't say anything, but you know, if I die, I'm probably not gonna die at least. Not that I've really accomplished much anyways. Oh, a lucky coin. Ever watching eyes taking care of you, it seems to relieve your feelings of fear and terror. My presence here is starting to fade. Oh no. Oh! I don't want to wake up. I like it here. They turn to dust as you return to this world. It's really interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have all the stuff you yeah, I'm pretty sure you keep it. I don't think it's like a dream. Oh, wait, I got a shield. Oh. I didn't realize I had to equip it.
Helmet. Oh my god. Getting two shot anyways, I know, right? An unknown force is keeping the door shut. There doesn't seem to be anything you could do. There are markings on the door that look similar to the text found around Easton sanctuaries. I'm fucking bleeding, dude. Gain an addition. I don't know, I need to try I need to try more stuff. I'm not really sure how I don't really I don't really understand how certain things work. What? You hear a crack? Oh no. Heads. No! Even the smallest noises echo in this hall. Fell down, my legs are busted. Is this the way I die? Alone in a wet and pitch black dungeon that smells like blood and semen? Cabbage. We didn't read Fellowship Chapter 2. The Fellowship found their way to the ancient tombs that would lead them to their confrontation with the older gods. The Fellowship persisted through the numerous hazards and dangers the old gods threw at them. 
Eventually, all five of them would reach the golden gates of Mahavara, the very same gates Almer ascended from 800 years prior. It seemed like the Fellowship had bested all the challenges gods laid for them, but at the most crucial moment, a seed of doubt was planted into the mind of the fifth one. The Forgotten One was the last trial the old gods had in store. His purpose in the grand scheme of things was to create doubt and unease between the Fellowship. Holding tight to their grand mission, the Fellowship prevailed, however. They laid down all the doubts and proceeded to the Golden Temple of Mahavra. The Fellowship tore down the legacy of the old gods and created a new world order, an age where mankind decided their own fate, an age of growth and prosperity. The Fellowship became the new gods we know and love today. Okay. bed is in a bad shape, the dungeons feel very dingy and unsafe, but you could have a brief respite here if you choose to do so. Save. Well. Pepe laugh. You know what? Yeah, saving is up to a coin flip. Amazing. Like, what's the point of War Cry? I just made a save, so I don't really care, but. Okay, so if I do fast, I guess that just gives me two attacks in one turn, which could be useful, I guess, if, like, an enemy heals or something, I guess. I can't do like a, I can't get like a first attack, or I guess. Yeah. Oh, come on! Heal? How? How? Oh god, that's not what I want to do. I don't have any heals, man. Alright, we made it. It's okay. Because the thing is... Oh, no, no, no!
bro. Too light. Let's go ahead and avoid that guy. Campfire? Oh, shit. Oh, you can tear the blanket for a uh, cloth, I guess. I already got a save point, actually. doesn't feel safe anymore. Oh boy. You probably have to coin flip it afterwards, I guess. I don't know, I mean, this has been good. The funny thing is, all this happened because of a coin flip and I fell down into the dungeon. I really don't know if I should be, like, looting all the boxes and barrels. It feels... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not so sure. I mean, you need, you need food. Like, you kind of have... I mean, you have to, to an extent, but... The coffin is wide open. There are scratch marks on the cover of the coffin, suggesting someone or something was sealed inside once. There is crafting, yeah. I kind of forgot about that, actually. You have to find the recipes, though, I guess, the craft. Yeah, the books are definitely very... <laughs> can be very good. Minus one cloth. Yeah, that's all right. Feeling hungry. Here lies Leiron of the Corso, the mage no one asked for, but the mage we deserved and got. Nameless grave stands here, the dirt seems somewhat fresh. There's a tombstone here, here lies Yuho of the Northern Woods, although he only briefly served in the dungeon, he is severely missed. Sir Anders. Someone has engraved something on the tombstone. Hope I get to taste your creations once we meet again, dear friend. 
Cross is missing any text, but for some reason the hole has already been dug here. The pit is almost like waiting for someone. There's a tombstone here. Okay, wait a minute. Sir Sonia, her brute strength beat every man in an arm wrestling match. Yeah, that looks like it's a spot for me. Here lies Jonah, this one desperately sought death. We'll hope she's glad now that she's found it. Sir Jacob, the great storyteller who made everything just that much more lively. 1590 was a rough year. No kidding. A stench of death and gore fills the damp air. The torch really helps for avoiding enemies, though, actually. Like, that, that little bit of extra distance. Didn't I have a small key? I have no idea what that's for. Oh, I mean, yeah, obviously it's to open the door, but... Oh my god, he's so big. Just run. The Manebra's tentacles prevent you from running away. Oh no. Holy shit, we got him! Yum! We got some herbs in here. Try to avoid this guy. Not avoiding food, what you mean? Dude, I don't have anything to heal though. I've got stuff to recover my... Oh wait, never mind. All right, well, let's see if we can try to open this. It didn't work. Chad, I don't know if I can juke this guy. He's closing in.
sand jukes. Salami. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, don't we? I already have that. What? I was just about to get out of here. Flip side. Oh my god. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, fuck. How do I get out of here? Fucking door? There must be something I'm missing. I don't know. I must be blind. Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Wait, isn't this where I came from, though? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait, we're outside at the beginning, aren't we? Hello. Hello there, dweller. Your eyes, they're starting to have that absent gaze in them already. A little bird told me that these dungeons just swallowed a new set of poor bastards. I just saw a business opportunity, that's all. So what shall it be? You have 23 silver coins. What do you want to trade them for? I wonder if a potion of life, like, what is that? Maybe it gives both, or? Maybe it revives you? Claims to return life to where it once lingered. 
Hmm. Hold on, one sec, chat. I gotta go grab... Gotta go grab something. Give me one minute. Okay. I would like to make another save, honestly. Panophobia, yeah, I know. Probably should have just restarted because it was right at the beginning, but... Isn't this where I was before and then I... Right, I fell through the hole. Hey, to zero. I feel like I cannot fight these guys. Like I, I need like a better weapon or something. They're so fucking strong. I've tried talking to him. He doesn't fucking care, man. All right, I'm gonna attack that hand, and then I'm gonna attack the other one. And then I'm gonna attack the stinger. Oh God. trap can you loot him not sure
Miscellaneous torturing items. Oh, I got a skinning knife. It's not a weapon. Blood vial obtained. Is that a... saw. Wait, there's somebody inside? Not sure if I can help. Buckman? No, wait, you're a sane one, right? Right? Yeah, of course. I'd be dead otherwise now. I don't have time for this. Listen, I've been lost in these dungeons for what feels like a lifetime. My sense of time has become blurry. It might be years, months, or I fear even just weeks. I just cannot handle it any longer. I feel my mind giving up already. I just can't. I don't know what business you got here, but if I were you, I'd run out as fast as possible. If escaping the place is even possible anymore, that is. God, what was that? I'm following him. Oh. Get a hold of yourself. It's not that simple. Are you just gonna hide here? In case you haven't noticed already, these dungeons are filled with unimaginable horrors from the depths of the darkness. One more terrifying than the last. But the most sadistic one would have to be Trorter, the torturer of these dungeons. Well, I mean, we've got our... F oh, you can't, like, cancel it? Oh my god. Been blessed by the old gods. Sleep well, my sleeping beauty. Chorter, you filthy animal. Is there no end to your cruelty? Quiet, you pig. Just be glad I found someone more interesting than you. Run, pig, run. Praise your gods, for this is your lucky day. Come on, Buckman. You gotta help me. Yes, this will do. Oh, no. Let's see, let's see. You don't need your legs, do you? Well, not anymore, that's for sure. Don't you just love the trembling of pain? In this cold world, it's hard to have any feelings of pleasure, but you know, pain and pleasure are not that far apart. What causes pain to another can bring pleasure to someone else. Arms disgust me, especially limbs limb ones like yours. Where are you going? You got no need for arms. But where you are going? Chop chop. You remind me of an ancient sculpture now with your perfect skin and teeth. Only one detail and you'll truly be a work of art. Let's remove your sinful dirty parts. Chop chop. There, a lot better. Now you are beautiful. Like me. Okay. We'll go back here.
Perfect voice acting. <laughs> Thanks. Thirty minutes wasted. It's not that long, actually. Not that deep. I mean, I know there was there was all the tombstones, but I don't think there was any items. Hold shift during your coin flip to use a lucky coin. Oh. I was wondering. I thought the lucky coins were just what you automatically used. Is it was there like Oh. I don't know what that is on controller, but Well, you know, I I was I should have I I was gonna, I was going to look at the lucky coin. There are remains of a bizarre creature left here. The blood is still wet. I honestly just assumed the coins were what you were just using in the first place. Um, like, whenever you did a coin flip, I just assumed that's what you used, but I should have looked at it. But that's good to know. Heavy knight, hold it. Just hold it right there. You are sane, I gather. Even if I may seem winded and wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow or two, so don't get any ideas. I am Sir Seymour, a knight from the Grand Kingdom of Rondon. I serve my country to the last breath, just know that. It's not binded on controller? Oh, okay. Well, I have my keyboard anyways. Leg guards. See, the thing is, I don't really know if I want to use too many coins on stuff like this when, especially like saving, like it's kind of like really important to have, I feel like it's really important to have those for when you make like a save. I'm not min-maxing, I just... I don't want to get fucked later, man. Because I just used all my coins. Like, I might Like, there's really no reason to use the coins when you're, like, searching for gear, I feel like. I think it's a little overkill. Maybe it is, though. Maybe it is worth it. Maybe, maybe I'm... maybe I'm wrong. Plate mail. You know what? I'll use one. I'll use one coin. Fuck it. 
I want to get... Okay. Whatever. The table has two spots to loot. I was actually just thinking, I wonder if I could do it again. I noticed that some... Does it really? Oh, yeah. Oh? What? Oh, I have to be close to him to like... Okay. What are you doing here? I delved down here together with my comrades. We have a mission to fulfill. The fate would however have it so that uh, so that each of us got lost. I fear for the worst. Now my priority is to regroup with the crown prince, Prince Ludwig Buckman, and with the rest of my party as well, if possible. Oh, I found Buckman before. It is a mystery. I have no idea how things are in this shape. The dungeons are beyond unholy at this point. This place is used as prisons by the kingdom of Rondon. Everyone knows these dungeons around these parts. They're pretty notorious, in fact. All kinds of rumors are exchanged in the darkness of the night. The rumors speak of unimaginable horrors. Who knew they were not just pesky rumors? You notice it, yes. I got hurt by that bastard over there. Caught me off guard. The thing splurts out acid. Watch out if you ever run into one of them. Tips for survival. You seem like the type that can handle yourself just fine. Just stay on the defensive side, and you might just make it. Whenever you get a bad feeling, guard. It's better to be safe than sorry. Another good pointer would be to behead anything that comes close to you. As tempting as that might sound, it might be a tricky feat to pull off in the heat of battle. Try to shake the balance of the enemy first. Maybe attack their legs, and only then go for the finishing blow when you know the enemy won't be running around wildly anymore. Patience is definitely a virtue in combat. Isn't this against TOS? Uh, plenty of people have played this version. Like, on stream. Wait, wait a second, where was... Wait, where was it that I went? I'm I'm confused. Oh, it actually was the graves. Oh god. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. I remember this now. Thank you. I'm my memory is not the greatest.
My damage is kind of low right now. All right, well, full HP now. We're chilling. Whoa, Ring of the Stillblood, what the fuck is that? Cursed ring that is said to make blood still and thus prevent bleeding. Hmm. It's cursed though. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to dig my grave. <laughs> okay. Back outside. Oh, and the merchant's here again. I'll take another. Take like a potion of life. Find dirt. Oh, come on! Explosive vial. Okay, I've got a lot of defense. All right, we're gonna attack the arm first. Attack the other arm. Attack the stinger.
Okay. First search the body? Well, the thing is, I, I don't know how to... Do I have to... Do I have... Because when I, when I interact with the body, it just... It automatically asks me if I want to eat it. So what, you just have to not use... You just have to say no, I guess? Okay. It's a little silly that it does it in that order. I feel like it should just... It should, like, let you loot first. Or give you two options, yeah. Alright, Buckman's back. Alright, so I got to this part before and then I died. I mean, I could try to make a save again and double coin flip, but I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I have so much garbage in my inventory. Well, maybe it's not garbage, but it feels kind of like garbage. Ambush it. Nope, I'm not interested. Said no already. Uh, he's gonna... I feel like this guy is gonna be really strong. I could try to... <laughs> Oh. Two F key. Head feels squishy. Okay, well, that was easy. He's also the one who took me to the Now I could probably make a save. I already talked to this guy before. I just trade some words later in a more secure environment. Oh yeah, I did manage to get rid of the wretched torturer. Absolutely magnificent, but the dangers of this dungeon don't end here. Do you want to travel together? Oh my god. Ah, you are heading towards the darkness. I apologize, but not this time. I will catch my breath here for a while. Alright, let's make a save. What? Alright, well...
feel a bit rested even though you had troubling dreams. You'll always have to flip coins in order to save. There was one bed that I actually didn't have to flip a coin for in uh in the prisons. But yeah, I mean I guess most of them. Um all right. Hold on. I'll be uh I'll be back in a minute, chat. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, my hunger. Looks like feces, smells like feces. There's something waiting you, uh, something waiting for you on the other side of the bars. Yeah, is that? <laughs> God, reminds me of Pyramid Head. I don't think I could talk to him. Try. No, I don't think so. Oh, the blood pit. Wait, we were... <clears throat> we got our legs cut off and got sent here. I don't want to try to rip off the Hydra's head. You grab one of its heads and rip it off with brute strength. What the fuck do you think you're doing? You don't stop, we're gonna wreck you up badly. Hey, seriously, man. Oh, you gotta fucking stop. Can't you see us suffering? You want us to beg or something? What the fuck do you think you're doing? I'm killing you. If you don't stop, we're gonna... Okay, well... I don't think I should have done that.
There's a pit leading to darkness. Cool air blows from the hole. You cannot see the bottom of the pit. If you'd have to guess, the pit seems to open up a little, judging from the distant echoes. Don't really want to fight that guy. I think we already read that. Oh! You could light the candle! Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, not the fucking na- Strong enough. Mercenary. Oh, hey, you got me out of here. I'm Kahara of the South, a mercenary at your service. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Well, I do have a mission here, but let's save that story for another day, yeah? Uh, I'm feeling kind of weak after being left here for ages. Would you mind if we traveled together for a while? Good idea. Great. Let's do this. Simple crude doll depicting a long-haired man is laying on the ground. The doll gives you chills and an eerie vibe can be felt from it. Definitely not sus. Well, hopefully he ha hopefully he's helpful. Really? And I'm just back here. sure what the soul stones do. Damn, cabbage is very filling.
Well... I don't know how to rush. Is it just like a... Is it just like a... Because the funny thing is, I rushed at the beginning, but... Is it like a button I have to press? I mean, dash? I don't know. It's a passive buff. Yeah, no, I'm I'm well aware that you do it in the character creation, but I guess you have to do more than just rush instead of getting the supplies, because I rushed instead of getting the supplies, but I guess you also have to do a different choice. I mean, I imagine you can find it anyways throughout the game, right? Or am I wrong? Is it only in the character creation? Oh fuck, why did I come in here? No! I don't know. I'm just going in a circle here. Yeah, I know what well, I mean I under I know that I'm just fucking back here again. That's the thing. It's I feel like I should just reload. Yeah, I know I pulled the lever, but I don't, I don't know what it did, man. I'm gonna go down here and see. Oh, my legs are broken. Well, they're gone. I guess they broke off. All right, please just chat. Stop with the backseating. I'm going to I'm going to put it in local sub if I if you guys keep backseating so much. Cave mother.
We're okay. What the hell? Wait, okay, hold on. What does this potion do? Claims to return life to where it once lingered. Emphasis on claims, yeah. Well, we'll keep the potion. Maybe it... Maybe it's... Maybe it's good somehow. See, the thing is, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should not be going this way. Like, I don't know if there's anywhere else I can explore down in the prisons. I feel like there's, maybe I should. There's probably another pathway somewhere else that I can go. But then again, the person that I'm looking for is in the prisons. the nail so I guess like getting in here I'm not strong enough for this. Question is what opened? Oh, nice. Is there anything in here? I don't know.
A mix of red and blue. I'm poisoned though. Effective against infections. Oh, what is this for chopping off your limbs? Jesus. I don't know. Is, is there anywhere? Because there is a lower level, but I, the thing is, I don't know how to get to it. The lever definitely did something. Big crit. Loin cloth? Oh my god, I'm in such bad shape though. I wish I could combine them. I guess I need to get the recipe for that. I'm so fucked. Yeah, just fuck me up, dude. I don't even care. Okay, so this is the room with that asshole. Just load at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught by one of the malformed prison guards. Your conversation took an awkward turn. Feeling kind of weak after being left here for ages. You're gonna regret this. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. I'm done going down there. I want to look I want to look around the this area a little bit more. Okay, right. This is I don't know. I just I mean, obviously there there's something I'm missing down there because the lever is there.
But there's some other ways that I didn't go over here. I only went down the... I only went to the right. Maybe you just have to hit the lever and then go back up. Maybe it opens some, like... Maybe it's not... It doesn't open something... Below, but rather above. Oh, we found books. Pinecone pig. Come on, baby. Great. Assassin's Handbook. Recipes of the 15th century. Come on, please. God damn it! Oh. Oh Lord, teach hurting. Damn, cabbages are so good. All right, let's take a look at my books. Torn, a page torn clearly, torn from a book. <laughs> Tells of the crow mauler. Crow, crow, grow your horn. Viola snow in the scars, Scarsburg massacre row. Crow, crow, oh why you maul? The meat is fresh and the blood still falls. Crow, crow, are you there? He is coming with nothing to bear. Crow, crow, behind you now. Oh, crow, please reap. Oh, crow, what I sow. <laughs> what about pine? Instructions on how to craft your own very, co your very own pine cone pig. The amulet of good luck and fortune, the pinecone pig seems to originate from the north, from the little villages in the old guard. First you need a narrow stick, break it into four equally long pieces, line them to each other to make sure they are the right size. Take a well-kept pinecone, push the sticks inside the openings on the pinecone. The sticks should be able to carry the weight of the pinecone, so they should be placed on all four sides, the bottom of the pinecone. The pinecone pig is ready. Enjoy. Damn, we got some We got some recipes. The book is about various recipes from the famous chef Anders of the Royal Kitchen of Rondon. Even if the book portrays itself as a recipe book, it seems to tell more about the notorious chef Anders himself. It's more of a biography book, greatly over-exaggerating his life triumphs and challenges as the royal chef. There seems to be a nice love story twist, too, with the princess of the court. Between all this romance and betrayal, you find recipes of Chef Anders' famous meat pie and vegetable pie. Hmm. What's this? The Basics of Alchemy. The effects of different colored alchemic substances are listed here. Red, corrosive substance, treat it with care. Black, growth hormone, causes uncontrollable growth in living tissue, treat with caution. Blue, healing properties for muscle tissues. Yellow, protein-rich substance. Recipes for basic alchemy. Black plus oil is highly flammable. Blue plus yellow gives heightened senses. Red plus yellow is adrenaline blue boost. Blue plus red is for poisonous effects. Blue and purple is antidote for the poison.
How to use of Sylvian. Sylvian is the goddess of love, lust, and creation. She created men and women at the dawn of time. From the very first moment, she loved her children greatly. Over time, her love blossomed into a more obsessive form, and she would try to guide her children more and more. When she realized her children would never be able to return the same amount of affection back to her, her love took a more twisted form. Sylvian would shape mankind more to her liking and more into her own image with her gift to people, the love magic, otherwise known as the flower magic. For a brief moment in ancient history, mankind fell into a craze of fleshly delights. As a synchronized mass, sea of naked people in the middle of coitus would pulsate and waste their days. There are still cults dedicated to Sylvian to this day, but many believe she left mankind behind a long time ago. Backyard. Does the mist carry tiny spores in it? Why you gotta say that? Ancient statue stands here. Rogoroth. Finish praying. Yeah, I didn't read the assassin one. This book contains instructions on how to skin an animal or a humanoid creature, how to make a believable disguise out of the flayed leather or fur. Use a skinning knife with precise movements to tear the skin from muscle tissue and bone. With enough pieces of leather, you can use them to make an outfit, a disguise of sorts. This disguise will mask any human scent, be it a scent of fear or hunger. You will be able to fool the beast in your hunt. Caution is advised, though, as this masking technique doesn't work if you get too close to the beast. Mix and match stew. Mushroom stew. Vegetable pie. Leave me be, please. I'm turning into a butterfly. Going to be a pretty butterfly. Okay. I bet Lark said just killed that guy. There's a dagger. It reminds you of your childhood when your father used to teach you swordsmanship with a similar dagger. It might be a suitable weapon for children, but for adults, it's too small. Okay. Anything else over here? Oh right. Uh, apparently this 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 one part is kind of Monka TOS, so I don't, I can't really show this. The whole game is TOS? No, no, no. Okay, well, I don't know. Lark Lark's have played the <laughs> Lark's have played the uncensored version, but she told me when I get to this part, I should probably not show it on stream. So, uh, hold on. I'm gonna go refill my water bottle though.
Okay, I'm back. Hold on, chat. <laughs> Welcome to the meadows, O oh traveler. Let us ease your suffering. The first one is free. The first one is free. Does this heal me? They are in a trance like state. There's a bunch of people just fucking each other, basically. Okay, I got fucked, and my affinity with the Sylvian is growing. You feel rejuvenated. Sweet. <laughs> All right. I, I don't think I I don't think I got any STDs. I think I'm okay. Like the thing the thing about this game is it's Oh shit, I'm hungry. That's fine. I've got so much food. Uh, do I want to Let's try this. It's probably going to heal me to... F yeah, it's full. Okay, so... Alright, let's go look around here. Find Captain's Diary 1 and a small key falls from inside the diary. Oh, we can light the candle. Are there more candles I can light in here, actually? It's kind of nice getting it lit up. Maybe not save the VOD? No, it's fine, man. It's fine. Like, this isn't a banned game or anything. Like, it's... It's all good. Oh no, I forgot. gonna run so you can like sacrifice the people on the statues I don't I don't really know if there's I don't really know what the point is maybe I need to kill these priests I mean, like, I could attack, but...
I don't know where I'm trying to go. I don't know. I guess we have to go into the prison and pull the lever. The, the, the thing is, I don't... I don't know what it does. That's kind of the problem. Just going in circles, dude. He's looking away. Oh, nope. Okay, well, right over here is the lever. silly just running away. I, I don't know, like, I want to kill him, but I don't think I'm strong enough. There's a bed in here? Lucky coin! Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh... Oh, this game is brutal, dude. Probably kill this guy actually. Oh god. Alright, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Fuck it. Okay, does he have anything good? Meat pie. Sell keys F3. Okay. 
Wait, do I have a skinning knife? Oh, I do. Well, too late now, I guess. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Ah, I forgot I can't. Okay, well, YOLO. We did it. Okay, wait, so there was... All right, I don't think this is where I wanna go. I just wanna make sure that I've checked everything though. Oh, this is where I... And that's... Oh wait, this is where... Oh my god... Curious about something. Okay, so this all right. Second guy fucking spawns in anyways. I guess I'll manage on my own. Don't let the dungeon have its way with you. He's just gonna steal my shit anyways, because he's a scumbag, so fuck, fuck you, dude. Kill him. Like, I want to, but I'm, I don't know if I'm strong enough. Well, actually... Alright, you know what? Okay. 
Come on, baby. So many beds down here. Need a better weapon. Maybe then I could actually force the doors open. I mean, a bow isn't going to open the door either, though. <laughs> I don't know what I need to open the door. Maybe like a mace or something. So the thing is, I mean, I still just... Still have no idea where the lever opened. Like, both of these doors... The problem... Both of these doors are just... I can't get them open. Meat cleaver. 
It's worse. I guess I have to like craft it. Bacon and eggs. thought is that maybe it opens the bars oh what the fuck We break all of them, then, then they can't hurt us. <laughs> All right. God, this fucking nail, dude. So these little shits are annoying.
this guy again. Hey, Tiki. Oh, no. These fucking enemies, dude. The save file, that the save I have is so shit. God, I hate it. Oh, we got a crit. That's fine. I'll take the thrust. No problem. Miss? Oh, no. Don't miss again, please. This guy is so fucking tanky. I attack the legs twice. I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe I don't have to. Is there anything up? Nope, nope. There's nothing else down here. I checked this before. I, I am sorry. I'm just like a. I am very slow, though. I would like to get that upgrade. Okay, let's not break the eggs this time. I'm gonna go to the left. There's some old writing here, but it is faded because of the time and the moist air. What about my- where's my eggs and bacon? Didn't I make eggs and bacon? Oh, 
Oh, I'm at 22, though. I should probably shouldn't do that. Oh, salami's pretty good. I'm gonna go. The diary of an unknown guard catches your attention. Sixteenth of August, fifteen ninety. The madness has spread in the dungeons like a plague. Some even suspected the plague that's running wild at the Kingdom of Rondon is the cause for all of this, but the symptoms are very different. Very different to say the least. The remaining troops took refuge in these mines in hopes that the kingdom would send help at some point in time in the unforeseen future. The hope is running low, however. Captain Rudimer set foot to the underground city of the cave dwellers and traded that bizarre artifact for food and supplies. Now those supplies are running low. We try to scavenge food barrels whenever possible, but it's not enough to feed us all. The hope is indeed running low, as even the captain seemed to lose his mind some days ago. He ran into the dark dungeons on his own, wearing nothing but a sheet of cloth. We're going to die down here, aren't we? take you on, bitch. It's like a crow. The mutilated skeleton is sitting here. There are claw marks all over its bones, and many of the bones are missing. Hmm. Fuck it. Well, that sucks. Hold on, let me take a closer look here. Does look like there's a weapon in there. Hey, one extra damage, baby. Heck yeah. I thought I could like light it and then take it. I... That was kind of stupid. I should have just grabbed it.
The mines caved in, but you managed to survive somehow. You're stuck under the rocks and boulders. You try to move, but it's no use. Tragic. <laughs> God, I, I wish I was a little bit close. The save file is just in such a bad spot, I feel. Well, I don't know. We just need to find a save spot down there, I guess. Doesn't take that long to get there. It's just... I don't know if I want to kill this guy, honestly. Well, he gave me a small key one time. It's random, though. He doesn't always give you one. The first time I killed him, he gave me, like, a loincloth and, like, a shitty weapon. Now, let's try to cross the bridge. Let's see what's over here. Oh god. Miss. Oh, he's like buffing up to to destroy me. Free fur. What the fuck is that? There's a huge creature chained on the wall. It's all dried up, but it's uncertain whether it's alive. Its breasts are oozing. Uh, I got some yellow mucus. That's good. Can I go this way? Make some bacon and eggs. Oh, who the hell are you? Well, hello, stranger. How are you doing on this wonderful day? What's so wonderful about it? New day brings new challenges. What is life without challenges? Life sure is peculiar like that, huh? Life is peculiar when you're peculiar. All right, what are you doing here? Hmm, straight to business, huh? Enough small talk. Fair enough. I'm a merchant of sorts. I sell precious items and weapons for those in need. The 
Funny thing is, though, I don't want your gold or silver in exchange. I will trade items for human children. Bring them to me, and I will make it worth your while. My pockets are very deep, you see. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Damn, that's fucked up. Oh, we got a torch. Wait, did the did the door cutscene like bug out his AI or something? Okay, I don't want to see what's in here. Blow that up. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just have to go past the mage. Oh my god! Okay, so we're on the other side of this now. Can I get my limbs back, please? To appease gods or gain favors from them, this is the place to offer your gratitude. Go grow Goroth, the destroyer of men, yearns for human sacrifices. Sylvian, the god of fertility and love, wishes nothing more than an act of love in her name. Ah, I see. I 
need some bacon. Oh, that's a full recovery, dude. So that ghost prevents you. Uh, so I either have to kill him or I don't know. I probably I probably got to kill that guy. I mean, maybe I can talk to him. What the hell is that? Wait, is this where I? Oh, I'm back here. Okay. I'll be fine. All the way back here. God damn it, dude! This shithole. Okay, I mean, we're obviously on the right path, I think, but... So dark in here. Is there anything else over here, maybe? Actually, no, it was just a dead end. Well, there's a soul stone. Oh. Maybe I could kill her, actually. She, I should go for the wings. It's a fucking bird. Oh, God.
I'm just getting fucking blasted. Can she even attack me without wings? There's not- you don't even get anything. Oh my... Yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm I'm still not really sure what panophobia does. Like I don't know how if that's making things much worse or not. Is that why I fucking miss so much? Didn't loot it. Oh, I'm so f I'm so fucked. Oh god. Alright, hold on. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a minute, chat. I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm dead. I'll be right back.
How am I still alive right now? So cold. Did I play the FF16 demo? Not yet. I want to, though. Actually. Uh, so, yeah, the reason I haven't been sure if I want to play the demo is because I'm, I'm sponsored to actually play FF16 when it comes out. On launch day, so... I figured I would just play the game then. I'm not, oh, you can't, I guess you can't actually die. Oh, this game is brutal, dude. see why it took Larksa like ages to beat it. Well, she did like all the endings as well or something. This is where you were an hour ago. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know where I need to go, but... Yeah, getting a companion would help. I thought I had a companion and then he... He left. Oh no. This game doesn't seem fun to play. <laughs> I mean, if... It's, it's definitely, uh, oh god. Alright. Come on, hit him in the head, don't miss. Fuck! I mean, should I attack his leg? I don't know. Hey, Tetra. Well, we actually were able to go through this way before. Or no, not.
Come on. Let me hit you in the head. Oh my god. First try. Crude sword and hard leather armor. Oh, that actually might be good. Oh, actually, no, never mind. Can I cut this or something? Crude sword, yeah, that's... Oh, wait. It's actually fucking good. It sounds bad, but I guess it's actually good. A little surprised. Okay, so this is where I blew myself up before. It was right... Yeah, it was like up here. I tried... Do not try to blow these up. Oh no, the crow is here. Oh right, I can't have a shield though. It's the only downside. Oh yeah, chat. So by the way, in about two hours, I'm going to be doing a uh, sponsored stream for a new a new game. And there's a announcement to come along with it. Raid Shadow Legends 2. Yeah. I don't know if anybody here would be able to guess it, but it's a it's a pretty cool game. I've I I played it a little bit so far. The sword emanates light blue hue. There's definitely something otherworldly about it. The sword's quality seems very high. There are light carvings all around its blade, and they all seem to start from the handle. The sword itself is stuck in the wall, and you are not sure if it's completely safe to remove it from there. Try. Why not? I'm gonna die. The room is shaking. It's a bait. Do it. I mean, I can get back. Yeah. All right, time to die. Oh. Yep. Wow. I was right. Did you actually have time to get out? I don't think so. That's just chat trying to bait me into doing it again. <laughs> You're so done with this save spot, bro. Tell me about it. Yeah, I guess there's a ba there is a yeah, I should I should make a save closer actually. There is one over there. I mean, I might have to RNG it a few times, but
Ring of Wraiths. A ring with a blood diamond embedded on it. The blood diamond has seen so much death that life force is f leaking from it. Is there not a bed? <clears throat> I actually found the passage of Maka Makarhe or Ma whatever the fuck it's called. Oh god. Um, I teleported to it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't really accomplish much. All right. Well, let's go down. Let's go down again. Yeah, I'm playing the uncensored version, Tetra, but apparently a bunch of people have streamed it, so. There's just one thing, there's like one part that I am not showing on stream because it's a little, a little much. Oh no! Wait, I thought I... I thought I had a blue potion. Oh, I do. Okay. There we go. All right, looking good. I really like the atmosphere of this game so far. It's definitely a little punishing. At least this part that I'm in right now. Yeah, now we just need to find a bed. Oh wait, we found a... There's no bed over here. This is... Oh yeah, maybe I can... Hold on, let's see. Maybe I can open the door with my... Holy shit! I'm strong as fuck!
420. I'm going tails. And of course. Holy sh... Dude! I just want a bed. That's so much to ask for. Everything's been scavenged. Oh fuck it, we're here again. We're at the sword. Wait, I think we're on the right- oh sh- I don't even know how to fight these guys, so I'm just gonna- Might have to wait a moment. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Can I not fight the crow? I don't... Is the, I feel like the crow is still there. I don't know, let's just try to juke him. I know my HP isn't good, but what can I do about it? I died because of my infected wound. I thought it would at least like lower my HP or something. I don't think herbs are what you use to cure it. Well... I have 
I have green herb, but that's for infection. But I guess it did say I died of an infection. Well, was... was the... Was the infection not the poison? Oh my god, this guy. Oh, it was the prisoner. I must have not noticed. Yeah. Okay, well, now we know. It's okay. It's okay, chat. Sorry, just one second. You can't level in this game? I don't think so. I think your progression in this game is like learning skills and getting better equipment. As far as I could tell. All right, one sec, Chad. I'm gonna turn on the Armored Core 6 footage again. I can find the link. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Sorry, I want to chill for uh for a sec. I want to eat eat some food. I'm hungry. Armored salt. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't wait for those videos. I did I didn't watch Bobby's video about it. I, uh... I do... 
anything from soft is gonna give me an early copy of Armor Core 6. I hope so. Well, it's not from soft that'll give it out, anyways. Well, actually, wait. Is cat is Capcom involved with this, or is this just purely from software? Wait, did I say? I, yeah, I don't know why I said Capcom. I meant, uh, I meant Bandai Namco. Ninety percent of the hype for this game is who it's made by, not the game itself. Well, you're not. I mean, you're not completely wrong. Like, I think a lot of people that are going to get into the genre are going to get into it because of From Software. But at the end of the day, it's still a game. Like, if the game isn't fun, people are going. Like, people aren't just going to say it's good just because it's From Software, even if it's bad. I think a lot of people just have high hopes for the game because <clears throat> From Software just has a really good track record. Mediocre people say it's good because of from soft. I don't know. I mean, then the day is just. Doesn't look like an insane game. I don't know, man. I mean, well, okay. So, like, the thing is, this is just this is just like gameplay footage. I'm sure uh, we're gonna get. Well, actually, I mean, the game comes out pretty soon, so. But I imagine there will be like one more. Like, I guess there will be like an official release trailer or something like that. Or maybe that's not the right word for it, but. I just, I can't wait to see, I just, I just want to have huge, huge battles like this. Looks so cool. You know, I'm honestly really curious, like, how... I wonder what... So, out of curiosity, I've never played another Armored Core game. Um, but I, some of them some of them did have, like, boss fights in them, right? Or maybe they weren't bosses, but more like you were fighting other mechs. Anyways, I'm just... I'm wondering, like, how, how long are these, like, battles gonna take? I w you know, I wonder with like a with the right build if you're just gonna flatten this guy in like five seconds or it'd be interesting to see how like the balance is.
All right. Back to suffering. Oh. I just want to find a bed, man. I'm so sick of running all the way down here every fucking time. Liza P gameplay video that was released yesterday. I don't think I have. But yeah, we had a bow at one point, but we don't have it anymore. All right, I'm gonna just try to kill this guy. Hopefully. Come on, just let me hit him in the head, please. Dude, I miss so much. Come on, you can do it. And... No crude sword this time. Well, okay, so like the thing about that Grim Star is. Or from what I've, because I talked to Larksa about Armored Core and she said that the game. Oh fuck! Because I think she's played them a little bit, and she was saying that. Uh, He was saying that if you grind a little bit and get your XP up, like the game's kind of designed around you having to grind a little bit. Sorry, I got a little distracted by chat there. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, I want to get that sword. Okay, hopefully the crow guy won't show up here and we can just go through. This guy's kind of an asshole, this ghost. The catacombs. Blue vial. Oh shit. Okay, am I. I'm poisoned still. Okay, let's just go up the stairs.
Dude, I don't even wanna- I don't even wanna sit on the chair. I'm scared of the chair. Dude, I just got like four heals. Oh my god, please. I need a save. Oh fuck, I, well, oh, I'm back here. Oh no, I didn't- oh my god. Oh, thank- oh, thank goodness. I mean, to be honest, I could have ran back. It's like, I, I feel like I've learned the way through, but I'm- well, we saved a coin now. That worked out well, I guess. Although, to be, to be honest, getting the shortcut is still kind of a pain because you got to go down the stairs like three times, but it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll sit in the chair. We made a save. Chair is surprisingly comfy. You can relax here for a brief minute. This is what it must feel like sitting on a throne. The idea lingers to your mind that you came to these dungeons on your own free will. No one forced you to come here. You could have just slept late on that morning you embarked on this macabre quest of yours. There are countless things you could be enjoying at this very moment and but instead you sit in this chair surrounded by the piercing cold darkness. Sitting here, knowing that the moment you get up, death might be waiting you just waiting you just around the corner. It's horrible to say the least. <clears throat> a mysterious growth is pushing through the ceiling. The vines are slowly pulsating. It's almost as if this plant is absorbing life from somewhere. Cannot quite tell what this organ is, but there are veins coming from it and burrowing underground. Seems like it's connected to something bigger. Cut it open. Some purple liquid seeps from the cut. Stopped moving, although you can still see some movement in the veins suggesting that whatever is connected to this thing continues to live. Oh shit, I'm really hungry. Have a meat pie.
dead person is tightly embraced by the growth. How do you do the soul dupe in Demon Souls? You know what? Maybe I can actually open these because they're they're just wood. Oh yeah, I can. Kind of figured that might be the case. Uh, just look up a guide. Honestly, you're better off looking up a guide than asking me because I don't even remember how to explain it <laughs> very well. There's an old book with rich golden illustrations left here. You take the Book of Enlightenment, Enlightenment with you. Book of Enlightenment, okay. What's this? The book radiates light in every color of the spectrum. You feel like your journey has just begun, as if your existence before this very moment has been like watching someone else entirely. You feel a perspective shift in your surroundings, as if everything was to shrink or perhaps you were to ascend higher. You gain a better understanding of yourself. The link between your mind and your body has started its deterioration. You feel closer to enlightenment. No, I didn't overwrite my save. As you finish reading the book, it crumbles into dust before your very eyes. Or at least I don't think I did. I just, I just said, I just didn't save. <laughs> well, now I'm kind of curious though, because that. I kind of want. I'll be honest. I'm gonna reload. I mean, I don't, I don't know. That book's kind of interesting because it's. I think it just lets you make a make, lets you make a save wherever. But I, I don't know if it like has some secondary uh, effect. <laughs> Maybe it puts a timer on, on you and then like eventually you die or something. You do like a lot less. Wait. What the fuck? Is my health too low? What? I'm so confused. How am I not able to. How was I able to do this before? How'd you miss a door? Who knows, man.
Oh yeah, you can't go down the stairs. Oh god. <laughs> I wish I could run diagonally <laughs> or just move move diagonally. I should probably just make, I don't know, it's kind of annoying having to make this every time. Right, so, all right. We did it. I mean, I have to go that way. There was some stuff over here, but it wasn't much. If I remember right. Still no party member? Dude, I know. Or actually, maybe there isn't anything. How do you get party members? Uh, you find them, I think. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's go up. Oh, Jesus. We're fine. Colin, what the fuck is that? Oh, Jesus. Dude! What is happening? Dude, I didn't even get in that. I. He just kept attacking me. What the fuck is going on, man? What is that? Ah, oh, God. I honestly should have just. I feel like. Because, okay, so apparently there's a sprint ability in this game, and man. I, f I could actually juke the enemies if I could sprint. Or I, I could actually, like, get away from them. Apparently you can learn it, uh, like, I could still find a book for it in the game. But, 
but it might just be RNG, I'm guessing. Dude, this... Oh my... Okay, you know what? Actually, we have a blue vial. We have a blue vial. Dude, we can just use the small one. Do I have anything... I don't know how to cure poison. I think it said something about a purple, but... I don't think green herb is... Well, I could try. I needed to get rid of that. Yeah, it's not green. It's not blue either. And it's not red. It's, this isn't like, uh, this isn't Resident Evil. Yeah, there was a recipe for it in the alchemy book, but it mentioned a purple. It was like purple, purple plus red is like antidote or something. I'm gonna attack the flower. I feel like I have to. Dude, the poison does so much damage. Oh, I should have skinned him. Oh, this is awful. All right, let's just see what's up here. They don't even budge. There's a cube shaped hole on the door. Oh, okay. All right. Oh God, please let me run. Oh. 
No! Fuck, dude! Should have healed. Is it better to start all over? I mean, I could. I don't really want to, to tell you the truth, but I definitely could. I mean, the game is pretty, like, it's not that complicated in terms of getting around. I know that I'm going to have to restart at some point anyways, but maybe not on the, well, if I want to get, like, multiple different endings, I guess. This area is so hard to go through, though. Maybe I just got unlucky. Okay, I suppose if if I was a bit luckier, maybe I could have got like a plate helmet. Probably a better weapon. Oh, I gotta craft the fucking food again. Why is the door too strong for me? Damn it! Dude, this character, my characters, really, I'm gonna die after I kill him anyways, oh, no, I'm gonna miss again, dude, it's just so bad, it's, uh, apparently I'm missing this much because I've got this stupid debuff from the start of the game, the fucking panophobia, I literally have a fear of everything, that's what that means, by the way. a party game bro i haven't found anybody all i found was one mercenary who was gonna wanted to steal my shit I found more than one party member. Well, I found Buck, or what What was his name? Buckman? But he also just let the torturer guy capture me and then chop off all my limbs. So he doesn't seem like much of a party member either, but... We also found like two merchants. 
That, you know, there's one guy that actually did seem like a viable party member. It was the knight. Um, but he was looking... Well, who was he looking for again? Oh, yeah, he was looking for Lagarde. Yeah. I kind of want to get some dinner before uh, my sponsored stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if Lark so wants to get anything. I'll be right back. Order in food chat. Uh, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch the, that after, uh, uh, once my food gets here, steampunk, alright, what do you want? Okay, chat. <clears throat> I am ordering food. I don't know, chat. Do you think I should restart? I feel like I'm not... I feel like my I don't know. I feel like this is kind of rough.
Yeah, I mean, I feel like I could salvage it, but it's so annoying missing so much. And not being able to cure the fucking poison. I mean, I'll probably find an antidote at some point, but it's like, in these encounters, I'm getting destroyed because of the poison. We could also try a different class. I mean, I like the Outlander, honestly, but... All right, we go again. You were born with the soul of the endless that makes you yearn for freedom and forces you to push your creativity to its limits. You put your creativity to the test in the most harshest of environments. You were born and soon abandoned in the capital of the eastern sanctuaries. You had to choose at a very young age to either become a pickpocket, a burglar, or try to struggle and lead an honest life. I'm going to become a pickpocket. Your life spent learning thievery certainly didn't go to waste. You learned to live with constant fear and danger over the years. They teach you valuable lessons. You learned to steal. As you grew older, you took part in various mercenary armies and learned the dirtiest tricks to stay alive. You were taken in by a notorious veteran highwayman and you joined his little band of criminals and ex-soldiers. During one of your many raids, your brigade got ambushed. The odds were seriously against you. You could have just abandoned your comrades and kept your life, or you could have fought to your last breath. Abandon. Escape plan. You traveled across the land in your raids and eventually settled down in the kingdom of Rondon where civil silver was loose as long as you were up for getting your knife dirty. One day you got an ominous task from the officials of the kingdom. You are to be paid well in silver if you get a captain of a fabled mercenary army out of the dungeons of Rondon itself. From the dungeons of fear and hunger, the morbid place has been used as a wartime prison by the kingdom, and for some reason they need an outside sword like yourself to infiltrate their very own stronghold. Something is clearly not right about this mission, and you have felt nausea since the moment you agreed on the job, but you are short on silver and the reward is all that matters in the end. You spent your last night in the kingdom. I'm rushing straight for my mission. You learned dash. Sorry, we don't have time to get laid, chat. Fuck that. little faster it's insane dude like playing the game without it is like suffering
Dude, I've found so many explosive vials. Oh. Oh. Fuck off. Can I force doors with this class? Quiet. Should probably just fucking reload already, dude. It's wait, wait. There's a little girl inside the cage. Are you okay? She doesn't respond. Are you a monster? Isn't this where the... I think the layout is like different this time. this oh the unknown door is here now I don't oh she is a party member I feel like I just got kind of screwed. I feel like my last character's layout was just kind of cursed, I guess. Also, dude, this this extra speed is just insane. Oh shit, wait, I just got the I just got the teleport thing. Oh no, do not go in the poop hole. Uh yeah, fail more. That character was horrible. Can I not go to the left? Oh, there we go. Blood and flower magic. Empty scroll. Thing is, I'm gonna die to infection if I don't get a fuck if I don't get a green herb, dude. I 
I stepped on a nail right at the start. I honestly should have just reloaded. <laughs> oh god. It's Buckman. Oh, it's right. Th oh, my goodness. She got hit as well. Ambush. The lowest hell are you? I'm gonna kill your ass, buddy. Zero damage. Oh no. fine. Just avoid the nail this time. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll get a green herb. Need a small key. Oh! <laughs> I tried turning around, dude. Ah! I, can't, I can't go... There's some mushrooms here. You know, there might be some herbs here at the beginning. The thing is, I might have to... It's hard to avoid the nails when you move so fast. We got a lucky coin. Come on, baby.
Mm -hmm. Okay. Got some defense. Nice. Oh, we got a key. Let the blood flow. Emblem. If I'm lucky, can I can I break it maybe? Will I play World of Horror? Whoa, what the hell was that? Wait, a longsword? Holy sh... Learn the secrets of the loving whispers. Still too weak. Do I not have, did I, wait, did I not get any tinder boxes yet? Okay. Thorned ring. I don't know if I want to put that on. This is back where the nail is. Okay, let's oh the mock-up book. And such bad luck. Alright.
I don't have any explosive vials. Affinity with the Grow Garoth is growing. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. I just wanted to see what would happen. Larksa run. Okay, please. The the thing is Well I feel like she she's easily just gonna die to enemies anyways. I mean you can heal her, but she doesn't have any armor, so she probably gets hit for, like, her entire health. Yeah, maybe I could pray to the god. God damn it, dude. Found a cheese. Great. Check our Discord. Alright. Oh, my food's about to be here, chat. 